Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to fix windows and old key swapped. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribe and like in this video. If your windows and old key are swapped on your keyboard, it is likely due to your keyboard layout or language setting issue. Here are step by step guide to how to fix that problem. First you need to check your keyboard layout. To do that, go to start menu here. Tap on setting and if you can't find the setting icon here, you need to just search for that. In the setting menu, you can see the left side, there is an option called time and language. Just tap on it. And in the right side menu, you need to select language and region. Okay. In the preferred languages section, you can see uh, two languages are selected. Select the uh, default one in the three dots here and tap on language options and go to little bit down under the keyboard section you can see which keyboard you are selected if you see multiple keyboard layouts like US quantity UK quantity kind of things remove any unnecessary layout by clicking on them and selecting remove just select this one tap this one and tap on remove because I can't remove because this is the only one I have and if you need to add keyboard you can just tap on add keyboard okay then the second method is reset keyboard setting to do that first you need to press windows key plus R then it will be open run menu and type control C O N T R O L and tap on OK. It will open control panel and go to clock and region and select region again. In the region window, go to administrative tab, then click on change system locale file, and you can see ensure it is match with via match with your region. This is uh, correct. Uh, one I think no I think my one is United State so I need to change that one and tap on OK and you need to restart the computer then after I am going to do it later and tap on close okay third method is disable sticky keys or filter keys to do that you need to again go to start menu and go to setting here And in the left side menu, go to accessibility option and scroll down, scroll down. Then you can see inter under the interaction section, go to keyboard. And you can see sticky keys and filter keys are turned off. If you, in your case, if, it, if those are turned on like this, you need to turn off those. So that is method number three and the method number four is update or reinstall keyboard drivers to do that you need to right click on the start menu and go to device manage option okay in here you need to go to keyboard section double tap on it you can see i have two keyboards connected with my device then you need to right click on each one tap on update driver now it will ask for internet it will ask to go to the internet and download drivers or you can give the uh, local drivers to install so I am choosing first one uh, you can see the best drivers already installed so I don't need to uh, install that one so yeah that is how you can uh, update the drivers and if you need to uninstall the drivers just right click on it tap on uninstall then it will ask to uh, uninstall just tap on it okay I'm not going to do that so that is method number four and the method number five is check for third-party software if you are installed any keyboard remapping software like auto hotkey sharp keys or keyboard customization tools like thing you need uh, sometime that can be reason for the swap the windows and all keys so you need to uninstall uninstall those uh, softwares then check again the keyboard is working fine or not and method number six is you need to test on another computer if your issue is already uh, still happen you need to 
plug that keyboard into another computer and check with that computer and the method number seven is you have to reset the BIOS and UEFI setting to do that you need to restart your computer and then when we when it is rest, uh, turned on you need to continuously pressing F2 delete or ESC that is uh, depend on your computer then after you can see yeah then after you can see any keyboard related setting on the BIOS section and uh, change those info in, into default setting and save the BIOS so that is method number seven and the last method is use a key, keyboard remapping tool if all of the method will not work you have to download key, keyboard remapping tool and change the uh, key, keys using that uh, as an example I'm open my browser and I can show one of the application for this uh, that is called sharp keys okay search for the sharp key okay you can download that using Microsoft store you can see that is uh, Windows to remap one key to another key so you can just download this using Microsoft store also then after you can remap the key, uh, keyboard buttons so yeah this is how you can fix your keyboard old key and windows key swap issue so if you gain some knowledge from this video please consider subscribe and liking this video thank you very much